Hello and welcome back everybody, it's B-Ball Joe. Um, this is my new series for um, beginners in Transport Fever 2. I want to show you a couple different things of how to make money early on. The first one we're going to start with is how to make money with passengers, uh, starting in 1850. We are stopping the time here, and um, to get started you want to find a city that's not super tiny. It doesn't have to be the biggest, but big is better and you just want to create some passenger lines in between the cities from there. Um, as a rule of thumb, try to keep your distance between cities about half the distance of the screen when you zoom all the way out. It's especially important in 1850, otherwise it's just going to take super long to do anything. On this map, I feel like I found this. There's a good cluster of cities all over here. What we want to start from the beginning, or for, for the start, is connect three cities. This is important. Do three cities at once. Um, start, um, if you have to, connect cities with new roads. Um, so we get that down real quick. Um, it does cost a little money up front, and it does cost some maintenance um, afterwards, but it will totally pay out. Um, if you can, make it a straight line connection, not a, a beeline connection like I just did. Um, and go from there. Don't forget that in Transport Fever, you can get money back if you destroy your streets real fast. Especially that, that should work if you have time pause. So let's see. Refund, refund, refund. Also very important at the beginning, if you spent money that you didn't mean to spend, that's how you get your money back. Great. To set up the uh, bus stops at the beginning, go super simple. Don't do anything complicated. Plop a bus stop in the middle of the city um, that covers most of the city get the next city, cover that one, get another city, cover that one. The more you cover the better, because at the beginning there really isn't much, um, there isn't much of another way for citizens to go anywhere. Once you have those set up, set up your lines, and I would recommend a point to point. Point to point just means from A to B, but not A, B, C, back to B. You do that so that you don't have passengers going from A to C through B and you're not picking anyone up in B. That's one important because the game pays you as the crow flies, which means if you pick up someone here that wants to go in Calm, that wants to go to Leston, the distance is calculated from Calm to Weston directly as the crow flies. If you have a stop in between, the distance is calculated from um, A to B and then from B to C, which is obviously a longer distance because on a triangle, this is the shorter lane. That's why you want to do point to point so you have everyone cha uh, changing stops where you need them to. And once you have figured out where you want all your lines, plop down your depot. It is ideal to place the depot near the middle station just because that means you have um, your vehicles jump on uh, transporting people just quicker and they go to both sides um, start with a reasonable amount you don't have to have a lot or a little throw them on the line start the game up at the beginning everything is pretty slow so um, give yourself a chance and play on fast the game will try to split out your carriages right away so that's why road vehicle 4 is going north and this one is road vehicle 3 is already going to the next stop that's fine. Um, it's trying to be clever. Um, this is what you do at the beginning. Let it bed in. Do three just because you increase the number of passengers in your network that way. Um, there's no hurry to adding another, another piece of city or another city over here with another line. It's not required though. So yeah, just start with three. That's a slow, it's a slow way because your carriages are slow, but it's a sure way to make you money. Um, after we play this for a little while, I will run it forward here in a second, you can switch to, uh, you can upgrade your lines by adding more vehicles as you need demand. Um, if your demand is not increasing, that is a good sign that you need to add more cities. Um, I will run this forward, I will add a couple more lines in between. Um, system is all the same, and then I will be back.
Okay, everyone, I'm back. Um, I'm stopping because we already see an increase in demand on most of our lines, especially the first ones. Line two, for example, goes from up here. Let's turn the cities back on. Um, goes from Leston to Bexley. There's a lot of people already waiting and we only have a capacity of eight and a rate of four. So we want to increase our vehicles on that line um, by a lot. How much you ask? Pretty simple. If you look at your passenger transport capacity, there's 57 that want to go here. That is the rate that your line should be. So you can add a lot of vehicles here. Now, once you start adding vehicles, this, this number will fluctuate, so don't go crazy right away. Um, we will start with 40. That's a good capacity. Rate is 25. Um, fill these up, look how it works. There's 54 people, 55 people working, uh, waiting on Main Street, that's up here. And on the same line, 46 are waiting here, which means we should see most of our vehicles being full the first time they get a pickup. You can do keep continue doing this um, through the beginning of the game, especially until you actually can afford to have a train. Um, trains are a little more expensive in the beginning because they're not very efficient to, um, to drive. But you can look at your um, stations in a, in a view like this, or you can look at your lines and look at how your cargo is doing. If your cargo has less passenger than capacity, that's a good sign that you are not efficient enough. If your frequency is super high like these, there's a good chance that you could have a lot more um, passengers on this line. Look at your vehicles compare or your cargo compared to ca cargo capacity compared to how much cargo you can actually carry. If it's full, it means you don't have enough. So you can go and just um, slowly add more vehicles. The easiest to do that is in the vehicle manager. Um, the way I like to do this, that was the wrong one. The way I like to do this is keep your line up here or your lines up here to see who you have and your line manager down here. Um, select the vehicle manager, pick the vehicles of the line that you want to increase and you just add more car uh, more vehicles. And this is it. At the beginning, just try to max out your lines um, and you will make a lot of money right away, even with passengers. That's all I wanted to show you. Um, hope you learned something. Um, there will be more in this series, so look out for that. Um, before I leave you, when this number turns blue with an exclamation point next to it, that means you are losing passengers. If it turns blue, that may mean you need a bigger bu uh, bus station, more vehicles, so less people are waiting, or both. Um, the best way to make sure that you're not um, missing passengers is um, keep, the nine, keep the number of passengers at your stations low, like 10, 12. If you have multiple lines on one um, station, um, this number fluctuates uh, like it's smaller than it is if you have only one line on a station. So one line per station, keep your numbers low, try to max out how many passengers you have on your line at any time. You will make money. Thanks for watching. Um, see you in the next video. Bye.